नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं भाषा और इस समय हम खड़े हैं जंतर मंतर पे जंतर मंतर पे एक बहुत अहम प्रदर्शन चल रहा है या यूँ कहे कि आंदोलनों की एक कड़ी है जिसमें बहुत अहम आंदोलन है नरेगा को लेकर नरेगा में जो देरी है नरेगा को बंद करने के लिए सरकार जो इनडायरेक्टली काम कर रही है उसके खिलाफ यहाँ पर पंद्रह राज्यों से लोग आए हुए हैं अपनी मांगों को लेकर इस पूरे आंदोलन से Uh, किस तरह से यह आंदोलन नरेगा का जो पूरा का पूरा प्रक्रिया थी वो ज़रूरी है भारत के लोकतंत्र के लिए इस पे बहुत सहगन काम किया अर्थशास्त्री जो विश्वविख्यात अर्थशास्त्री जॉन द्रेज ने मनरेगा के पूरे अभियान के साथ लंबे समय से जुड़े हुए हैं भोजन के अधिकार से जुड़े हुए हैं वेलकम टू न्यूज़ क्लिक जॉन द्रेज वट इज़ द बेसिक वाई वाई देर वॉज अ नीड टू कम टू डेली वट यू फील दैट हाउ इट इज़ हैपनिंग यू आर वर्किंग इन झारखंड एंड फिफ्टीन पीपल फ्राम फिफ्टीन स्टेट्स हैव कम हेयर सो द मेन मैसेज ऑफ दिस धरना इज द नरेगा वर्कर्स वन दे राइट्स टू बी रेस्पेक्टेड अंडर द लॉ दे हैव अ नंबर ऑफ राइट्स लाइक एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन डिमांड विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज पेमेंट विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज मिनिमम वेजेस basic work at work at facilities and so on but the most immediate and important demand is for timely wage payments because there have been gross delays in wage payments now for more than 10 12 years and this is having a very destructive impact on the program aside from causing great hardship and being a great injustice to naraga workers under the law the workers have a right to payment within 15 days but now this has become more the exception than the rule and it is really high time that the problem is solved once and for all Uh, there are a number of reasons for these delays at the moment the most important reason is that the central government is not allocating enough money for narega uh, under the law there should be a national employment guarantee fund which always has a positive balance so that the money is never short to pay the workers but the central government instead of that is allocating arbitrarily a certain amount of money which in the last few, year, few years has always been much less than what is required So what happens is that around the middle of the year like very soon in this case uh, the money runs out the payments are interrupted for months at a time and then it's only through the supplementary demand for grants that more money comes but usually not enough money to clear the dues so the dues are uh, transferred to the next year and so we are in a kind of vicious circles of uh, delayed wage payments accumulating year after year i think it's really high time that this stops and that adequate money is allocated so that there are no delays the other important reason for delays is that the payment system keeps changing and every new system brings new technical problems uh, it began with cash payments then post office payments then bank payments then efms any efms dbt aadhar payment bridge system then last year separate payment systems for schedule cards schedule tribe and other workers which makes no sense whatsoever and then this year a new app to uh, monitor attendance at the attendance at the work site so every time you introduce a new system uh, there are technical problem problems that often last for years and always so they say reliable. that always they say that uh, they are changing the system to uh, check the corruption no i think i think actually the reality is that the narega workers are used as guinea pigs for immature and unreliable payment systems so i think it's high time that a reliable and timely payment is put in place and that it is it remains in place for a long period of time so that this continued experimentation at the expense of the workers stops one last thing i wanted to know from you uh, during covid uh, narega uh, helped a lot at the rural level many people who went from the cities back uh, they were uh, saying that that was the lifeline so uh, in spite of that uh, why you think that the government is so insensitive still no i think that the levels of employment did increase to some extent during that crisis and that's a good thing but the uh, employment level is still much below what would happen if the uh guidelines were followed in letter and spirit and in particular if people were paid on time and of course also if they were paid a decent wage like the state minimum wage the employment levels would increase further in that event thank you thanks doc
जॉन द्रेस जो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय ख्याति प्राप्त अर्थशास्त्री हैं झारखंड में ज़मीनी काम कर रहे हैं उन्होंने जो सवाल उठाए वह मानसून सत्र में अगर जो सरकार चल रही है जिस तरह से सदन चल रहा है अगर वहाँ तक पहुँचें तो शायद उनको लगेगा कि मनरेगा से जिस बड़े पैमाने पर देश के भारतीय नागरिकों को रोजी रोटी मिल रही है जिंदा रहने का साधन मिल रहा है और उसमें जो सबसे बड़ी त्रासदी है कि पैसा नहीं मिल रहा मजदूरी करके लोग महीनों इंतजार कर रहे हैं शायद ये बहुत अहम सवाल है जो जौद्रेज के साथ साथ यह पूरे संगठन पंद्रह राज्यों से आए लोग उठा रहे हैं